friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie, I hope you're doing okay. And this is Jackie Does Keto, welcome to my house. Um, so I have, I normally post lots of keto videos, grocery hauls, uh, cook with me, just chats, checks in, weighs in and all that stuff. I've been a little bit quiet for a couple of weeks because I mentioned before, my stepson was with us for a couple of weeks and I didn't really present when he was here. So I've not been filming too much, I hope you'll forgive me. In terms of what's been happening here, yes, I normally do keto, but for the last two weeks, it's been completely out of the window because obviously having a 14 year old lad in the house with Paul being a full enabler, it's been a real struggle for me to maintain keto, but I'm back on it as of Monday. Today, Saturday, and I'm sort of checking in with you guys, having a little vloggy vlog with you, just sharing my weekend with getting myself ready for Monday. Monday, I was working this week, I wasn't the week before, so uh, back to it on Monday, so obviously working, eh? back more working, back to the gym, back to keto. So, yeah, that's me checking in. If you're not already, press the subscribe button. I do post usually lots of keto videos, a bit, a bit quiet, obviously, now. But I'm back to refocusing. I do feel that I have had a little, well, I've had a big regain actually in the last two weeks. I feel very bloated and unpleasant. So I am looking forward mentally and physically to getting back to keto. But for now, it's eight, it is 8.30 Saturday morning. I've got the cleaning of the house to do, de-tidying, de-boying. I'm a 14 year old boy in the house. Um, I'm going to be having a good old tidy up today. I've got loads of stuff to do. My to do list is about this long. I want to go out. I want to go thrifting with you guys. I want to go to, to shops. Um, some of the things we want to pick up. Paul's birthday is on Monday, so I need to get him his gift. Also, the weather has been really poor. And in my mind, I'm getting ready for autumn or fall. So I'm going to start looking at some de decor. I don't usually decor stuff. But if you've been following me for a while, you know the last year we've been decorating our house. So I feel like I want to get some decor bits to make it a little bit fally. I think they've started hitting the shop, so I want to share my decor. They started hitting all the shops, oh. and all of the decor is starting to hit the shop. So I want to have a little look before it sells out, because it all sells out so quickly. So I want to go shopping with you guys and pick up some bits. So. If you're not already, press the subscribe button. So I do usually post lots of keto videos and press that bell. And let's get tidy and let's get shopping. Let's get cooking. Hello. Well, the housework is mostly done. I need to vacuum, but we do it tomorrow. I need to do a deep clean and I need to do a deep clean, like schedule plan, rotary thing. So if you've got any good, um, like lists that you use, you download from someone much more organized than me, please let me know below. Um, I need to do like a top to bottom of every single room. <laughs> But now I'm going to go thrifting. I want to look out for a new vase. I've got one vase, but I want to put some like autumnal flowers in another one, fake ones probably. Um, so thrifting and then just hit the shops, grab some bits uh, and take you guys with me. Well, 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 I bought some stuff. I went out, it was quite a place, uh, put two loads of laundry on the line. It's peeing it down. This is England. But I did buy some stuff. I went out to go thrifting, had some ideas. I wanted to get a vase, have a general look around. And unfortunately, it was a bust. So I just went around the shops and spent far too much money. But let me flip you guys around and share with you guys all the tap and rubbish that I bought. So first up, I went to B&M, which is like a um, target -y kind of cheap shop here in the UK. Bought the kitties some snacky things. They've been really stressed out um, the last two weeks because having someone in the house they're not familiar with. Um, so I bought some treats for Mabel, saw this um, cheddar mix, it's not a lot in here, there's like two carbs in the whole bag, it's not too bad, I might have, to have it over a few steaks, and melt it over some steaks in the week, um, as I said they've been stressed out, I bought a new cat tunnel, they love cat tunnels, they love chasing each other through them and then kicking each other at the butt, literally, um, so I bought that for them as well, I also brought from B&M a new bath mat and a towel one because you know it's always nice to have different colors and got the blue but doodle uh doodle doodle who, who weed on the last noodle we had um because he's been so stressed we're thinking i had took his upset out on the, the last bath rug and we had a little wee on it um ding obviously no no problem he's dressed out we're having strangers so no problem so we didn't batter an eyelid um also brought some candles i said i was looking for house decor for autumn um, and I think this year I did have a good look and there was some nice stuff in there, but I'm not quite sure what I like. It wasn't right hitting the mark for me. Um, but, uh, TK Maxx, who I did go to, had some cracking stuff. I'll show you, so I think I did buy. Um, but I also bought these little, like, squeezy, 
um, shots for your coffee. I have I do have syrup in my tea and coffee. Sorry, my coffee mainly. Um, but I thought these were cute. These are only one ninety nine, just to throw in my bag if I ever leave the house. Um, so yeah, I also got these. Got two of these. These are like seasoning salts. And I think you just sprinkle over your meats. Um, a seasoning shaker. I've got a pair of peri salt, um, which Paul likes on his chips, and a Caribbean jerk. I doubt it's going to be that exciting. There are sugars in there, so it's not strictly keto, but um, I'm not. I won't use a lot of it. I literally cook up some chicken and put a sprinkle on it, and that'll be it. Got a jar of cockles, which are like baby clams. I've tried. Someone asked me how to explain it. Well, they were because they don't think you get them in, uh, everywhere, so it might be a European thing. Um, got some more of these. These are thirty nine p. These are great. I love you dipping them in some cream cheese. Delicious. Got some sweeties and things for Paul. Got myself a little drink. Someone was drinking one of these on Instagram, and I completely forgot. These are so good with a shot of cream in there to make a fake Starbucks drink and the, the keto. So that's awesome. So that is my B and M. Went to the pet shop, got some fifteen pound cat food, but they like it in a couple of little tins. Uh, TK Maxx, they did have, say, quite a nice selection of Halloween. They always bang it out of the park at Halloween, but it does not last long in there. Um, and I didn't know what to get. I was quite panicking. They had like a BDSM kind of pumpkin. It was really odd. Uh, but I picked up this guy and it was only £5. Um, and my living room is grey, so I thought it would blend in nicely for the seasonals. But I went to Hobbycraft because they've got all over their Instagram. Pumpkins are £4 and they look awesome. But she's like, no, we haven't got them yet. I think she was sick of being asked, this poor lady. So um, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on Hobbycraft. I also grabbed a couple of nail polishes. Apparently these are normally like £8 each. Um, and in TK Maxx they were 4 So um, I've got these on. I've grown I've grown out my, my tips, my my, um, my nails. I just paint over the top of them with a colour and then a matte finish. And they, you can't really tell, obviously, that they're half grown out. So I'm going to be doing my nails later with one of these colours. Also got some of this bin buddy um, for my recycling bin because obviously it gets a bit whiffy. Uh, I do go, I wash it out and bleach it, but then in between, I'll give it a little spritz. Got some more syrups, which is one of my favourite skinny syrups, caramel cream. It's delicious in coffee. Went into Peacock's, which is a women's clothes shop, which is a bit of an old lady one, but it's okay. Got myself a big pair of full pants, big knickers, belly warmers. These are 22 24 because um, the next size down was 18 20 And I think they'd be cut enough for circulation to my lady bits if I bought this next size down. So I bought them, see how I go for a fiver. And if they don't, they're way hanging off and they're hanging around my pants, that my ankles. <laughs> okay, I'll go and get the 18 20s. Um, went to Sagebury's, I don't know, I was going to stop talking. I've got just bits and pieces of Paul. More stuff for Paul, buns and things of him, and some fruits and bits and bobs, stuff, things, things. It's his birthday on Monday. He's asked me to get him a shaver, and I've actually not picked the one he wants. I've upgraded him, so that's coming tomorrow. And I got him a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt from Sainsbury's for £12. He's very hard to buy for, because we're both really lucky, and we don't really need anything. So he had the same problem with me on my birthday. But there you go. That is my... I spent about £100. Uh, that is my, my haul for day and now i'm going to spend a few hours just chilling my beans waiting for paul to get back from dropping billy off well look what the cat dragged in not really it's morrison's but close this is this week's shopping 82 pounds i want to say but we haven't bought ourselves a delivery pass for morrison's yet because we've been trying it out for about four weeks i think i'm going to make the jump next week and just buy one um i think so delivery is like a fiver However, I'll show you the shopping. The gooder end is this end, as always. I grabbed four more of these. These are two for two pounds. These are mini mozzarella balls. Um, just a really nice, tasty snack. I really like mozzarella. So yeah, I grabbed that. Was that's been going on for a, quite a few weeks. That deal. I hope it's permanent. So I've got four of those guys. I think I've got four left in the fridge from like last week. So that's good. Grabbed some little bits of chicken. I make up this tomorrow for something. Something. I'm not sure. Grab some of their sausages, pork, cheese, and black pepper. The best range. Thought these sounded good. I might put these in the freezer, though. You pull might have them for dinner tomorrow. For this week's main, I've got a huge beef brisket. Well, I thought it was going to be bigger than this. I mean, yeah, it's big, but 13 quid, which is about $19 in the US. What do you think? Um, it's quite a bit, I think. Um, so I'm going to put this in the slow cooker, I think, in like eight hours and let it fall apart. So that's that. Um, Non-food item, I've got one of these breakfast gold bowls. You can microwave it. This is kind of like when we do 
as winter's going to be coming soon, we warm things up and just have like a bowl of stew, casserole, soup. Just handy to have something you can microwave with a little handle that's not going to burn your fingers off. Um, it's a two pound, I thought it was quite a good deal. So I grabbed one of those. Got some command hooks for our autumnal lights. I like putting lights around the fireplace. I thought that'd be nice. Um, they had a flash sale on and it says strawberries. And I think they're originally were four pound and these are like 220. I thought, oh, that's pretty good for a, a pan of strawberries. I didn't really have freaking many there were. Um, Paul likes strawberries, thankfully. So. <laughs> Whoops. Um, a couple other bits. I've got roast beef. This is going to be for pork sandwiches in the week, though. Just some garlic paste because I'm super lazy. Um, and got loads of garlic powder as well. Got some almond milk for coffees in the week. Sour cream because we always have sour cream for all, all sorts. Paul and I tend to like spicy food, so we always like sour cream. Double cream for coffees. Some drugs, drugs, drugs. Ibuprofen and paracetamol. And that's kind of the safe end. As you migrate across, we've got cat stuff, more cat things because I treat them. Um, there you go, we've got some mince support, more mince support, some fries, more crisps and bread. L look at the pop, guys. Look how good my pop is because we've got loads left over. I said to Paul, rather than pop, should I get you loads of beer? And he was like, hell yeah. So I've got him some beer instead. Um, some lemonade and some loo roll, toilet paper. Um, I think I might have a little bit of a drink poo myself, even though I've got a bit of a headache, so I think I will pop some pills, have some water, I think I'm dehydrated, um, and I might have a little drink poo myself, uh, but first I'm going to put all this stuff away, have a little shower I think, I think we've got leftovers for dinner, and then I'm going to think about doing meal prep. So we've got far too many subscriptions, we've got Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Now TV, which is like cable. And I want to get rid of this one, so I need to work through my watch list. And I've tried to start on this, the truth about Harry, the Harry Quibbert affair with McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. I can't remember his name. But if you've watched this, let me know what you think. I'm going to give this a try. I've got like 20 channels, 20 shows to get through. But let me know what you think of this one. We watched the Mayor of Bridgetown. Yeah, that was really good. Mayor, yeah, that was really good. So let me know what you think of this one. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday and I'm about to do some meal prepping. Paul and I had a little drink poo last night and I think we decided, decided it was the first time this year I had a drink because I drank my Christmas booze. Um, I had three and I was a little bit wobbly. Was I not, Paul? I was, wobbly. I was a bit wobbly. I'm <laughs> foodie. I'm such a oh, pathetic person. Anyway, meal prep for today. I've got this beef brisket um, from Morrison's which I'm gonna put in the slow cooker today. Let me just flip you guys around and show you what I'm gonna do with it. So keeping it fairly simple and low carb, um, I've got this brisket, which is uh, still it's still very expensive, but there you go. I'm gonna brown this off in a pan with um, the remainder of this butter. Um, I think it's a salted one. So I'm gonna get it nice and brown all over to give it some caramelization. Then I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker for about eight hours. And I've got here just some a stock cube, which is dissolving in the hot water. It's chicken, hot beef, I haven't got any beef, but I'll make do. I'm also going to put a dollop of mustard in there, garlic paste, and I've got some sucre gold brown sugar. So it's going to be a sweet mustard garlic sort of sauce. Um, let it cook all day, fall apart, and then I'm going to thicken it up with probably some sour cream. I've also got some regular cream. Uh, and if it's not still too runny, which is not a bad thing, I'll put some xanthan gum in it to make it into a thick sort of sauce. Taste as a go. I'm not going to put any extra salt in it because of the stock cubes. These are so salty. But I'm also going to put some pepper in as well. And then I shred it up and have kind of like a sweet mustardy beef, kind of probably like a stew for the week. Hopefully I'm going to get five dinners out of that. That will probably shrink like crazy though. But that is going to be the main meal for Monday to Friday. So when my beef is a beef in, I'm going to cook up some eggs. I've got 18 eggs here from last week. Um, I'm going to cook them all. I'm going to use 15 of them, give three to Paul because he likes snacking on boiled eggs during the week. I'm going to make an egg mayo like salad a mixed box which is egg mayonnaise but also put some smoked salmon in there someone suggested putting dill in there i did look for fresh dill yesterday and didn't find it then i kind of chickened out i'm not sure if i'm going to like it with the egg but i might do one one of them with a little bit of dill stirred in and see how i like that so they're going to be my breakfast for next week so i've got some eggs to get rid of um and yeah egg, egg boxes and beef while i'm doing that uh while that's cooking i'm also going to do my ironing because real life some of you asked me um yesterday on instagram um, I know some of you guys follow me over there. Apart from watching that Harry Cuber thing, which I'm on the third episode on, 
What am I reading? Uh, I'm also reading at the moment. I like the Throne of Glass books. Yeah, Throne of Glass. I've read the first two or three, and then she brought out um, some novellas. And there was a deal on Amazon Kindle. I love my Kindle to get all five novellas in the one compendium for like 99p. So I'm reading that um, at the moment. I'm also reading through my book club, which is free, a book called The Dark, which is a murder mystery set in Antarctica. Um, and that's pretty good. They sort of give you half an hour of book a day over like 10 days and you comment as you go along with other people it's like a shared social experience it's called the pigeon hole so that's like if you're interested in a book club that's quite a good one to do as well anywho i'm gonna go do some ironing watch some more of the harry hubert thing get my eggs done um and then i might do some work and then also do some life admin stuff you know you gotta answer answer emails and do all that stuff so yeah that's me for the rest of the sunday almost forgot um this as well this is what I'm going to be starting tomorrow, Monday. Um, I'm not a big believer in pills, motion, lotions and potions and all that stuff to do with keto. I did, however, get this in my Crave kit, which you guys know if you've been watching me for any amount of time, I get once a month and it's full of like uh, keto products. And I got this and it's a like um, energy shot. And I thought, oh, okay. Got around to using it one day to see how it was like. It's very sweet. Um, so it is, I'll probably water it down. But it was the best pre-workout I've ever had. So I've been keeping an eye on this Real Ketones company and the products that they do. Um, and um, really, really, um, saw, saw a discount code. I did pay pay my own money for it. They didn't send it to me. They haven't since then um, sent me a, a, a like affiliate code as well, which I will leave a link below. But I'm going to be trying this for seven days starting tomorrow. So I'm excited to try this as well. But so I will link this below if you want to take a look at it. Um, it's got like shots and pills. It's basically to get you into ketosis as quick as possible. And as I've been off plan... I think I'm going to need all the help I can get. But I'll be charting it every single day about how I get on, what my... I think there's ketone tests in here as well, if I remember rightly. Ketone strips. So um, I'll be sharing, sharing with you what every day looks like for me if I'm actually getting into ketosis or I've got ketones and all that stuff. So if you're not ready, press the subscribe button because you'll see in the next video or a couple of videos' time what the outcome of this little experiment so was. my beef is done. It's having a little resty rest. I'm going to sort out my sauce. It smells really nice. And my tip with using xanthan gum as a thickener is, if you've got like your, your gravy or whatever you want to thicken or your stew or what have you, rather than putting the xanthan gum in it, take some of the juices out of it into a smaller bowl and add your xanthan gum into that because it clumps up into little balls. And it's really, really annoying. Um, I'm only going to use, say, that much in there. Oh, maybe a little more. Um, in there and then I'm going to use one of these little whiskey whisks and just do it that way and then once this is all mixed it does it is an absolute bugger to blend once this is all mixed and this is very thick I'm going to tip this back into there and it's much easier to manage um because it's a smaller vessel um it's much easier to manage your gravy I'm also going to add in about a quarter of that sour cream there give it a nice richness as well Shred up my beef, pop it all back together again, and that is it. Let me split it up, and that is me done for the week. And no prepping. And here we are, prepped for next week. And so pretty good, really. I've got um, my egg mayonnaise and salmon bowls, and may put some dill on top of there um, as well. Uh, so I've got five of those Monday to Friday. I only prep for five days because the weekend I'm a little bit all over the place, so I don't like to prep for the weekend. Plus, it's a little bit too far ahead. To know what I'm doing and what I fancy and also what I might have leftovers of because sometimes I don't eat everything every day if I've got no appetite I might have leftovers and um, so I've got five breakfast bowls of those lots of mayonnaise which is nice and full of fat so it should keep me full up if I don't I've got a nice little snack bag of these mini mozzarellas which I love I've also got some of these like meaty pack things I also bought some guacamole as well so I was obviously just avocado stuff so I might have a little bit of guac on top of my eggs and salmon Obviously beige, most of keto food is beige, I find, but it looks, doesn't look particularly appealing in the slightest. I've tasted it, it is good. The sauce, gravy, whatever you want to call it, is a little thin because I know in a few hours with that xanthan gum, it does thicken up further and I don't want it to become slimy. So I'm leaving it as it is, but there's a lot of meat there that should be nice and filling, good to microwave and go before the gym. So assuming I'm going to have one of those, one of those and a snack bag, that's about 1300 calories um, out the back and about six grams of carbs, which I'm very happy with. And it gives me some wiggle room for things like this, a little bit of that, some pork rinds, that kind of thing, just to get myself back in the first week of getting back to keto after my little couple of weeks off. 
So I'm just really looking forward to that. I'm, not, I'm thinking about next week's meal prep as well. Let me know what you're meal prepping below because I'd love to steal your ideas. <laughs> and that is me prepped. As always at this time of the day, I've got a very red face from all the cookings and things. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, I will be starting my Back to Keto starter kit tomorrow from Keto, Real Ketones. So press that subscribe button if you want to see the results. I'm going to give frequent updates on Instagram as well. So if you want to look at that, I think the tag, the link's going to be below for that as well. But thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Let me know how you're getting on in your journey as well. I always love to know how you're getting on. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.